Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about distributed execution or as we call it as DEX as well in case of Tosca. Now we are going to understand why this concept came into picture, what purpose does it achieve, how it is beneficial and all those details around it. Okay. So let's understand that with an example. Okay. Now I have a product which has 1000 test cases in the regression bed. And obviously the standard is whenever we are releasing a new feature or we are releasing a fix or adding a minor functionality or a major functionality, we will execute the entire regression bed. However, to execute the entire regression bed, it takes around 20 days and I have one resource allocated for that. And I have one machine and assuming one particular resource is contributing 8 hours to the project. So it is going to take 20 days. Okay. Now the business requirement is so that we cannot afford to give 20 days for uh, regression execution. Okay, that is not possible in this particular scenario. So what management could think of a solution to this problem is that they can probably uh, go in a way in which they can only execute the higher priority test cases. So let's say we have segregated our test cases into P1, P2, P3. And P1 is like 300 test cases. Even executing that is not going to be completed sooner, right? And let's say we want to just finish the entire regression in two days. That is what the business requirement from management is. But that is not possible here. And even if we are trying to target only the high priority test cases, because of the low priority test cases, there could be UI issues or bugs could be present in the application. So that would not be an ideal scenario. Okay. Now, another solution which we could think of is we can increase the number of resources on this particular project. So, if I want it to be done in two days, I will include 10 resources. But then all those 10 resources are going to add to the project cost, which is going to significantly impact the project budgeting. Okay. Now, we are looking for an efficient solution for this. So, so what? we can do is or what one solution we can think of is this one particular person executes on this particular machine and he takes one day eight hours and 20 days right now let's say this particular resource has got not one he has got two machines okay so there is one more machine available which is uh, not used by anyone else what he can do is he can simultaneously execute like 500 test cases in this and 500 test cases in this so on a higher level it is going to impact the execution time by like just reduce it by half so it can be done in 10 days right now he has to monitor both of these executions correct now let's say he get two machines so he can handle it and he can execute it on three machines okay one on his machine and two other uh, available machines on this he is executing so he can again reduce the time right but then also in this particular scenario he cannot complete it within a day or two okay and remember that his eight hours is also occupied what if there is a way that he can schedule all his executions on the required number of machines and complete it within the time frame as required by the management okay so what happens is you can include as many machines as you want and in the this case it could be a physical machine it could be a virtual machine as well okay and in today's current scenario it's very easy to get virtual machines and most of the projects of the companies are on cloud so it is very easy to procure machines as well okay now let's assume that is he is using this particular machine just to kick off the execution and he'll add as many machines as he wants based on the project requirements so that the task can be completed within the stipulated time one day two day or whatever the need is okay now this is where the dex comes into picture so distributed execution allows a person or a, a resource to schedule his task okay schedule his or her task onto different machines as per the requirement okay now what will happen is in that case this particular machine needs to talk to all these machines and probably say like 200 test cases on this 200 on this 200 on this and 200 on this and based on how much time we want to complete it based on that we can add additional machines okay however 
for this particular machine to talk to these machines and distribute the task it, it cannot do it directly so on this particular machine we have tosca commander however for us to distribute the task that is where the tosca text distributed execution comes into picture okay now there is a software called tosca server which we are going to discuss about those things in detail in the further videos but on a higher level what will happen is we'll do some set of configurations okay and what will happen is this is the resource machine okay what he is going to do is he is going to uh, give me one second let me use the pen here so he is going to communicate via his machine to the server machine so this is going to contain dex okay this is going to contain dex and this machine is going to communicate with all these different machines okay and going to schedule the task so in our case there were 1000 test cases here right so 1000 test cases will be scheduled in a systematic way from user machine and it will go to the dex machine and the configuration will be done and then it will distribute the amount of test cases into different machines as per the requirement so let's say i have done 200 test cases here 100 here it will depend on the flow and complexity and all those things and 200 here and lower complexity let's say 500 here okay and that's how we'll be able to do our execution very effectively in a lesser time frame and now you understand this thing that if a physical res resource is executing he can only contribute 8 hours or you can increase the bandwidth a little bit and he can contribute for 10 hours but not more than that however these machines can run 24 cross 7 so imagine the efficiency it is going to add so you can run this 24 cross 7 and finish off your execution very efficiently and too much time saving is there so here in this case the testing which was becoming a bottleneck is not going to remain a bottleneck anymore the moment development is done we'll be able to perform the testing as soon as possible and it will give us the edge over like going for time to market okay so that's what the problem statement distributed execution achieves you can automate this thing you can do the configuration once and then you can schedule your execution as to whenever it is required now this whole set of configuration is required just to be done once at least if we are considering the same thousand test cases now if there are more thousand test cases are coming then you have to do minor changes but see this configuration can be done once and then can be reused whenever it is required so it becomes very efficient and very time saving and very cost effective okay now in this as we are able to see that there are three different kind of sections which are involved okay so that's what majorly the three elements in case of tosca dex okay so first one is called user machine okay user machine is something which the resource is using this particular machine okay and he's using this particular machine to execute or to schedule his test bed or test cases and he sends the command to dex so this is the second type of machine which is which can be called as server machine or distributed execution machine okay and the third is called as agent machine agent machine is something on which the actual execution would be running so you can run you can add as many agent machines as you want so basically if you if anyone will ask there are three kind of machines which will be involved in case of tosca dex user machine server machine and agent machine okay now on user machine there will be tosca commander installed on the server machine there will be tosca server installed okay tosca server will be installed and on this these will be agent machines which will be configured to take commands from the dex okay now these are the major three elements which will be used and uh, we are going to discuss about the architecture in the next video and then we are going to discuss about the setup as well but this is the major problem that tosca dex or distributed execution for that matter in any other tool as well resolves or is the purpose is to achieve time efficiency 
and cost benefit. So that covers up the video. In case you found this helpful, do like, share and subscribe and let me know uh, if there is any particular topic in mind which you would like me to cover based on the number of requests. I'll surely try to take it up. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.